Hey guys, this is Ricky and you are welcome to Lifelines. And we are so happy to have you here. If you are new to our channel, we just want to say hey and welcome. And our channel is about my pre-med experience as a nursing undergraduate major and my experience through my post back and medical school and so on. And Priscilla also shares about her time as a graduate nurse, as a new nurse as well, and also her journey as a master's program nurse. So we have so much for you guys in store. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get everything from us and follow us on social media. And I also wanted to take this time to give a special and big and huge thank you to all of you who have been on with us throughout this journey. We've had our YouTube open for only such a little time, but we've gotten so much support, so many views, so many likes. So just continue to help support our channel by being on our social media, keeping up to date with us. And we just love it. And I know this video has been long awaited. I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking what program I'm going to. Did I pick a formal post back? Did I pick a DIY post back? what is ricky doing so you are all welcome to my why for picking my post back program so as you can see i'm going to jefferson Woo! super excited um and i have so many reasons why i chose this post back guys i couldn't fit it into one social media post so i have my ipad so i can tell you guys everything so that i don't miss a single thing all right, and I'll also have a post-bac series, obviously, talking about my journey, um, study tips, why um, a post-bac, should you do a post-bac, um, what major should you do, so many things, so many um, things that go around our post-bac program. All right, so let me tell you guys about my backstory. So there's like a whole backstory to this whole reason why I pick Jefferson that I didn't even know about until like after I hit that commit button, I was like, wait, those things happen. So, all right, so when I first was starting my post back journey and applying to post backs, I made my list. Jefferson was the last one on my list. And it was the last one on my list because it only had two linkages. Um, if you don't know, linkages are basically early ways to get into med school. And that'll be in another video for another time but I was like it only has two linkages so I am putting that at the last of my list and I didn't really know much about the program so as I was like looking at post back programs I decided that I'm going to start following physicians like shadowing physicians since I need this for my medical school portfolio just to make sure I this that I know this is what I want to do so I started following physicians. Um, I'm a nurse extern at a hospital. So I just went on the email directory and emailed a whole bunch of physicians. And I got ignored for many of them or declined for many of them, but I still kept shooting out emails. And I caught one and he is part of the CTICU. So that is some big stuff. Um, I was overwhelmed. I was like watching so many shadowing videos, how I can be prepared, how I can best shadow. And it was pretty similar to clinical almost. So it was my first shadowing experience with a physician. I went out and bought new scrubs, y'all. I watched so many videos for hours. I like prepped everything, had a notepad. It was so funny, um, but it was worth it. So I went the first day. I really enjoyed it. I really loved it. Um, and he was... Like, are you coming tomorrow? And I was like, I wasn't planning on coming tomorrow. I didn't tell him that. But I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to go. So he was like, okay, fine. Um, but a med student is going to be there. So you'll just have to, like, you know, share and catch him up. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went to get the med student the next day. And we were just chit-chatting. And I was like, yeah, I'm a nurse. <laughs> See, it's already sprinkling. I'm a nurse. A BSN. We just graduated, guys. But no, for real. So um, I said, okay, I'm going to be graduating in May, um, but I'm applying to post back programs. And he was in med school at the time, obviously. And he said, oh, I went to a post back. I was like, oh, I'm going to career changer post back, not an academic enrichment post back. He said, oh, I'm also a career changer. I'm like, whoa. So what post back did you go to? He said he went to Jefferson's two year program. 
Mind y'all, I was going to go to Jefferson's one year program at this time. And that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But um, he said he did the two year program. And I was just like, okay, let, let me just hear what he got to say because it's really hard, I feel like, to get feedback on career change or post backs because you don't really hear from the students if it's not, you know, within like an institution held event. So I was like, oh, give me some information. He really loved the program. He felt like they really guided him through, they really helped him through. He also did a linkage, which I wanted to do. So he did a linkage also with one of the two schools and it was just cool. Like he was just saying his experience was really good. I was like, mm, something to think about. That's real cool, right? So as we were um, going through the day, he was just giving me advice about what to do during the post back, what he wished he would have done, so many different tips. Um, and if the guy for some reason is watching, thank you so much for all of your guidance. I don't even remember his name, guys. I feel so bad. Like, we didn't exchange numbers or anything because I was like, I'm not doing that program. So what am I sharing information with them for? But see, that's why you have to network. Even if you think you won't need it, you will probably need it. At the worst time, you just want to keep it on a shelf. So yeah, um, that was a mistake on my part. But he, I was just so happy that he was telling me about the program. So then... Um, I think a couple days later, I got an interview um, request from Jefferson. So I was like, whoa, this is my first post back interview. I did some mock interviews with my school. I did YouTube. I did mock interviews with my friends. I was like trying to make sure I hit all the lists, uh, read over my resume, read over my personal statement and everything, guys. So I had the interview and that I can say was probably my number one reason why I chose Jeff, right? because they just reeled me in all right both of the directors as i was interviewing they were so helpful in like breaking down my current stats how what do i have to do when i join the program what is the program about like we went past the interview time because they were so helpful and so ready to help me like you don't get that from a lot of schools like you get interviewed and you go and then you'll hear from them but this, I felt like I was a student before I even started. Like, they don't know if I'm going to commit, but they still chose to help me and talk to me and give me so much advice and encouragement and stuff. And I liked the program for several other reasons, which we'll get to. But it was just, that was the number one thing for me. All right? So, y'all got the iPad. I'm, looking, I'm making sure I hit every single point for you guys. So then... It was like welcoming and things like that. So my next reason was financial aid. So with my post back and money other post backs, I pay per credit. So it would be better spaced out for me in, in a sense. Like if I'm taking this many credits in a semester, then I can pay this amount, right? Instead of paying like the whole thing um, straight like out like that. And also Jefferson was one of the many, one of the very little schools who had their financial aid to be able to apply. So you can have financial aid. Usually with post back programs, at least formal post back programs, you have to um, pay out of pocket or have a private loan. So that's really difficult for a lot of people to manage. So the financial aid, once they said like this program qualifies and that you can do that, I was like, <laughs> Let me let me get some more financial aid that I need because I'm not trying to rack up on these loans other than for my nursing degree. And that's not it, y'all. That's not it. We still got a few more reasons to go. So next, my one of my things that I didn't realize till after, like applying to all my schools, was cohort size. Guys, cohort size, I feel like it's so important to me because I didn't want to be grouped with undergrads and then sometimes in big schools, it can be like a lot of people in a lecture and you can't just have that personal connection with like faculty or you'll get lost in a sea or it's just not like any focus. It's just like a whole bunch of students. Here you go. We're mixing you in. But with Jefferson's program, you are just the post back students in a class. You guys have all the same classes together. You can choose to add electives too, but you guys all have the same classes. So we all have like a common goal. We all have a common 
thing that we want to achieve. We're a small cohort, so then we're, we can be close and connected to the professor because at Widener, I was always close to my professors because of the small size. And you can just be a group. Like, postbacks are already going through a lot. Like, a lot of people have to leave their full-time jobs. A lot of people can't do this, can't do that. Like, you're literally going back to school to be a student. So there's like a different mindset with it, I feel like. And it's just nice to have people like you surrounding you, right? Instead of being mixed with some undergrad. But some people like being in that group where they feel like that's fine. Jefferson is also pretty close to home. So I was like, I am excited because I can just go back and forth from home. And it's in Center City. So I just feel like that is pretty cool to be able to, you know, be really close to your institution. I didn't want to go far. If I want to go far, we're going to save that for med school. <laughs> med school, I have plenty of time to go far. But this one, I wanted to stay local. Like I wanted to be able to commute back and forth. And lastly, I picked it because they had a one and a two year program. And after the interview, another great thing after the, well, during the interview, I got accepted to the one year and the two year program. And I only applied to the one year program at that. And they cost the same. So don't even think like they're trying to get my money or anything. They cost literally the same amount, one year and the two year program. So um, the two year program is way more manageable in terms of the sciences. Like with the one year program, I'm pretty sure you take like three sciences with lab at the same time, plus maybe something else. But with the two year program, it's more like two sciences each semester and you get your summers and your winters to be able to, you know, shadow, volunteer, clinical experience, anything you have to do for your medical portfolio. So I was just loving that because a lot of, as I said, I started applying for one year programs, but I only ended up going to a two year program. So those are basically all of my reasons for the post back program that I chose. And right now, I do not regret my decision at all. Um, when I was applying for post back programs, I was telling God, like, God, this journey that I'm going on, it's a very abstract journey. And it's a journey that you can very easily feel alone in because how many nurses do you know just switch up to be medical doctors and that's not really publicized it's not really known so I was asking God to really help me to go on this journey and as I'm going on this journey don't let it pull me away from him right I don't want to be pulled away from the creator the master the one who has taken me through all of this and I said God if this is going to take me away you just guide my path and I feel like it's a, not a coincidence that I meet a two-year Jefferson post back student, one that also linked, one that also, like, I brushed him off. That was my first encounter with anything medical or medical student-like. And I just feel like these things were ordered, and I feel like Jefferson is the school that I should go to, right? So that is all that I have to share for today. Um, so whoop whoop, I'm a Jefferson Ram, um, and I will be attending their P4 program. So if you have any other questions about post -back programs or any topics that you want to see about post -back programs, career changer post -back programs, let me know down below in the comments because I will be free to answer those. We're going to have a post -back series. It's going to be a lot of videos back to back to back to back to back. Also, don't forget to check out Priscilla's new videos that are coming out. She's going to be talking about her new plans after graduation. And I have some more plans other than my post back pro um, program and that I will share with you guys. So we're so excited to release it. So be sure to follow us on social media. Um, follow our Instagram page. Follow our um, YouTube. Subscribe, hit your notification bell. Like all of that jazz. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.